So I'm actually doing a discharge test on a little VRLA battery over there on the right. And one thing that is quite nice about this Herky instrument is when you turn it on, it will remember the settings and the last memory that it was on from the last reading that I took on the battery. So I'm taking a reading every five minutes over the about an hour that it should take to discharge this battery. Um, so the last reading I took was in stored in memory cell number four. It's automatically moved it on to number five there. And you can see, if I go on to the battery, so there's the resistance and the voltage reading there, and it's moved it on to its next memory cell. And, uh, and then, sorry, that was the timer going off. Uh, and then, so I can power the instrument down now uh, and then come back in another five minutes to record the next reading, and it'll have re retained all the settings that I've been using. Okay, we'll be coming up to the end of the test shortly. Uh, this will be the last reading that I make, I'm pretty sure of that. Should stop at 10.8 volts and we're 10.88 now. It's dropping fairly rapidly on the uh, right hand side on the voltage meter on the load there. So when it gets about 10.80, 10.75, 10.80, I'll take the final reading um, and then should hopefully see that it will show a fail on this instrument because in general this test would only ever be done with the batteries on float charge and never do an impedance test with them on discharge mode like this because they do just end up giving you a failure reading. So yeah, two and a half minutes. It's not going to make that is it. So I'll do a reading now. Hopefully, keep my arms out of the way. And then you can see on the screen that hopefully bottom right hand side you've shown the fail there. That's 210 milliohms, 10.81 volts. Um, if you have the beep on, that's if it beeps on fail there. We've got that option there, and it should. It should then light the screen up red and say fail then. So a couple options for the beep function uh, you've got there. Uh, so we are on 10.7 volts now. If you're just going to watch, what I'm going to do is turn the load off, and you should see the voltage jump up quite high. And you see immediately it's up to 11.4. If I take a reading now, the internal resistance will still be high, but the voltage should come back up. So 11.49, 208, no real difference on the resistance, but normally this is supposed to be 50 milliohms. So you'd have taken the reading with it in a discharge state. You'd have thought that the instrument would tell you that the battery was faulty, when in fact all it is is discharge. So, as I say, you'd only ever use these instruments when the battery is on float charge and take the readings then. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you found it useful, and I'll see you again in the next video.